Um, so before this season, you managed to visit Nida, uh, which is probably one of the best things in terms of nature beauty that uh, Lithuania has to offer. How would you rate this uh, experience uh, that you had? It was a great experience. I, my family is here, so we had the opportunity on day off to travel to Nida, and it's a unique place. Of course, you know, I'm from Greece, we have a lot of uh, nice beach, uh, AGMC is very, very unique, I can say. But uh, this is what I face to Nida, uh, that uh, we had also bicycle with my family close to the coast for more than nine kilometers. Uh, everything was so calm and really it was the most beautiful place I visited in Lithuania all this year. So, I said I share photos with my friends and I say that we need it's a reason need to visit Lithuania. What other places uh, you have visited? Uh, Vilnius, Kaunas, I mean in terms of uh, you know to, as a tourist. I try to to spend time on my day of traveling. I like to traveling to learn about Lithuania and learn about culture, small cities, and every city has different approach. Uh, Vilnius is real beautiful, it's uh, close to the airport, has a lot of things to do, uh, museums, uh, walk. Uh, for me Kaunas is basketball city, so every time I visit Kaunas I visit for basketball reasons. Uh, but uh, this is what I like to Lithuania, and, uh, all the cities, all, even the small cities, they are so well organized, beautiful parks, and that you can spend the time with your family and really we enjoy uh, be in this country. Uh, also, you came to Klaipeda when uh, when winter was uh, ending and uh, right now you will face it uh, from the beginning during the whole season. Um, how, how ready are you for Lithuanian winter? Is that, uh, is that a problem for you or no? So, well, they told me that September usually is raining but um, now this September is 30 degrees and really I enjoy, you know, to have this weather. But uh, what I, I said also with the players, that during the season with so many games that we, our job is on the, on the, on the gym. We are spend, coaches spend eight hours. So it doesn't matter if you are in Greece or if you are Lithuanian, uh, you'll, you'll spend uh, the, during the day on the court. And we have a lot of games. I hope that will go on also in Europe. Uh, and so for me, it's, it's the same. Basketball is our life, especially during the season. This, this summer, uh, Greece participated in the Olympic basketball tournament. Uh, how big was that for Greece? Uh, r please remind us, Lithuanians, because we, we forgot this feeling for eight years. Yes, also we had, uh, I think, uh, 16 years to go to Olympic Games when we try coach Panoulis uh, make this last year try to build one team that uh, will go to uh, Olympic Games of course we hospitality the tournament that I think was very important and all the players they had a big motivate uh, to join the European uh, our national team and to be on the Olympic Games it's something unique uh, you know to also as a count our country that we are always first uh, go on the stadium, but this uh, this season it was on the uh, in France. But Yanis uh, was uh, the number one athlete that uh, he came with uh, the flag of Greece. That is, you know, great uh, honor for every athlete. And, uh, we make one step. I think we built one team, and uh, that it's it was team. And Yanis, uh, of course, was the best player. But uh, we play every game and we give everything. We are very happy and we are very satisfied as a, as a, as a basketball country that we are on the host, uh, we, was, we were in the Olympic Games despite the fact that we didn't have a medal that for us was a great uh, feeling to be back again on the, the best tournament I think in, uh, in the older years. It doesn't matter, it's World Championship, European Championship, this Olympic Games and this tournament it was by far the best I ever seen. In your career, you've already coached many uh, EuroLeague or even NBA talents, uh, both as a head coach and, a, and as an assistant coach. 
uh, which of those guys uh, has made uh, the best impression for you with their personality, with their work ethic, uh, which one you perhaps point out to your current players as an example to follow? Is there someone? Yes, I had I had the opportunity on the past to work uh, to work with high level player, player that now is on top in Euroleague or uh, even NBA some players. But I would like to focus and I will, I can say that uh, last year we had a player uh, as our Lachie Bellis that has all the potential to be one of the best power forward in Euroleague. And why not after a few years to go back in NBA? So uh, I think uh, and I try to help uh, uh, us that uh, everything starts from the practice. If he is practicing hard every day, if he's focused on the small, on the fundamentals, on the details, uh, he has all the packets to be top player. Uh, so, because I'm, we are now here in Lithuania and I'm really interested about Lithuanian basketball, Lithuanian young players, I can say that as it's one player that has big potential. I don't, I cannot, I don't say that it's the player that I coaching. And uh, of course, we had Mike James when he was younger, uh, Nika Lathis, uh, we had a lot of players. But as is a player, believe me, that he can be top in Europe. Uh, who is one coach uh, you feel like you can call for advice uh, any time of the day or any time of the season? Coach Pedulak is. Uh, I work with him a lot of years, uh, Peristeri, Pauk, uh, Pathnekos, a few years, and he's the coach that uh, make me to start to uh, understand that basketball is not a game, it's a mind game. I need to read, I need to uh, prepare everything. And uh, it was the coach that he will change me the, the philosophy of basketball. Of course, Coach Pascual. Uh, make me to see how is Euroleague and uh, to give me the knowledge how to prepare a game, how to prepare the practice, how to uh, understand uh, and be one step front from uh, the other coaches. And uh, Coach uh, Pitino also is the coach that is unique on uh, speak to to the mind of the mindset of the players. So I had the opportunity to work with a lot of a high level coach is maybe the top in Europe or uh, in states with coach Pitino. So I cannot say only for one. I can say that uh, I take a lot of things from a lot of coaches and I have the, you know, anytime uh, I have great relationship with uh, all the coaches and I can call them and ask advice or ask their opinion. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.